Hi all, welcome back. First of all, a big thank you to all of you for such wonderful and positive feedback you have given on my one year report card as new immigrant in Canada video. I received uh, comments as well as questions both uh, online as well as offline. I understand that uh, many of you had the questions uh, which were very, very personal in nature. Uh, but uh, let me tell you that uh, every single person who starts uh, the journey of immigration has this question and it is very important to know the right answer. So in today's video, I will be sharing the common questions which comes to people's mind and I will also be sharing the resources and tool where you can find information which is reliable and which can make your life easy. So keep watching till the end. Now those of you who are watching my video for the first time, I make video on my experience of being a new immigrant in Canada and shared my learnings so that you have a shorter learning curve when you are here in Canada. Please subscribe and press the bell notification for getting all my future videos. As I mentioned, let's see the kind of questions we all have in our mind and uh, later on I will show you how to get answers to these. So the question was, is it a good idea to move to Canada? I'm already settled in my job here in the country where I am. Does it make sense to look for immigration to Canada? Is healthcare free in Canada? Is education for children free in Canada? Will I get uh, employment? I'm already 35 year old. I'm 40 year old. I'm 45. I'm 50 year old. I want to set up a business. Is it possible to come and be successful in Canada? What are the procedures? In fact, uh, there are questions like my employer uh, is not giving me the job reference letter. So is there a way that I can still go ahead and submit the documents and uh, be tension free that my documents will be accepted by the Canadian government for uh, the PR process. So are you also having these questions in mind? Let's see how to find answer to these uh, questions. First and foremost, anything related to immigration to Canada, I suggest you visit the Canadian government website that is www.canada.ca. Now here every single thing has been given by Canadian government in the most easiest possible way including policies, how one can come to Canada, what is the eligibility criteria, uh, how much fund to bring, what kind of documentations are required, what is prerequisite, everything. Here you will get to know a comprehensive view of which category you fall into and how you can go about it. Now the question most of us have is that uh, uh, we really want to know the user side of the story. How the other person did this entire process? Did he do on his own? Did he reach out to a consultant? Now that is when this website which is www.canadavisa.com comes handy. How to use this? Just go on to Google search engine, type Canada visa space your question. So if your question is, my employer is not giving job description letter, what do I do? When you type this, go and check the Canada Visa web link. You will find a forum where people have come and people have shared their personal experience on how they went about doing this entire activity and how they were successful. You can take any question. You have forums and people have come and updated every single detail. So uh, that is current, you have thread, you just have to go through and find where your problem is and how you can find solution to that. Once you get a hang of it, you know how to find answers to every single question. If you still don't get, there is one more option. Go to Quora. Quora is a very good platform where you can ask questions and people come and respond to those questions. Now the challenge here is that uh, I personally have found CanadaVisa.com to be more reliable when it comes to giving information. In Quora, uh, you can sometimes get a desired answer or sometimes it can just get you know uh, too much uh, uh, of information over. So you still get information. I will not recommend you to go on to platform like WhatsApp, Telegram or Facebook. The reason being that um, you will be flooded with uh, too many messages which you don't want. One, your queries will be very, very specific. Uh, you will be getting random messages on this platform which might not be of value to you 
and uh, sometimes you get uh, conflicting as well as confusing uh, answers also. Uh, this is my personal experience, but if you want to be on those platforms, you still can be and find information that is up to you. Now, if you have already started with the process of immigration, that is government has issued you invitation to apply. You have submitted all the required documents as well as fee to the government. Now your wait time starts and that is when most of the people get anxious. They look for answers. You go to this website called www.imitracker.com. This website has information related to US, Canada and Australia. Here user say if I'm going through the process, I have come to this platform and I have shared information on when I submitted document, when I got question from the government, when I received uh, application uh, updates, all the timelines are shown in this website. So it is uh, left to you to comprehend how much time it will take for the entire cycle to happen. You don't have to depend on asking people, asking consultant on how much time it will take because uh, nobody can give you the right answer. You go to this tracker, people share their personal journey, personal experience, and uh, you get to know what is happening. So guys, uh, with uh, the Canadian government website, canada.ca, with canadavisa.com, IMI Tracker, and Quora, you will have answer to almost every single question you have in your mind. You don't have to go and ask people. Yes, people can share experience, but it will be very, very personal in nature, and uh, it could be biased. So hope uh, you enjoyed and uh, found this uh, video interesting and informative. Please do comment below, share, like, and subscribe. Uh, also share your thought on uh, what kind of information you'd like to see from me so that uh, I can come up with a video and give you more information on that particular subject. Till then, thank you. Bye-bye.